my my career there in Washington was spoiled, ruined, and trashed. And and I always still continue to speak the truth about what I experienced and what I saw and and the amount of of hate and and anger that came my way for saying it it was not safe to say things like what i was saying even though it was the truth back then so rg3 with all due respect it's kind of like a bitch move to come out and say you're going to do a tell all now why didn't you do your tell all about 3 4 years ago why not do the tell all like before now because he was still trying to play yeah because because you were scared of the backlash that you would receive saying what you believed your truth was in a time where it was not you didn't have all of the stuff that has come out with the cheerleaders and the emails and all this stuff that makes it safe for you to be a front runner of justice i hate when dudes do bitch moves to be heroes and heroic about the things that they're doing, and you do it in the comfort of knowing that people already know what's going on. Stand up and be a man. Do that ass before now. Do it before now. Someone like me said this for years. Go back into the annals and the history of saying this is a dysfunctional place. This is an evil dude. This dude does what he wants to do and how he wants to do it. I was basically like... I don't I don't even want to use the word that I'm thinking. I was I was ran out of that city just for trying to stand up for myself. I didn't I didn't ask to be attacked over what took place. I don't have to rehash what happened when I was there. But I know this. I was the face of an organization. I was the face of a city. And I was deeply rooted and entrenched in that city and did so many things outside of the scope and the realm of what happened in between the lines on the football field. And then for some strange reason, now I'm being attacked and being called this, that, and the other. He's washed. He's overrated. He's this. He's that. He's dumb. He's dumb as a brick. He's this. He's that and the other. And I still stood on my truth all them years. And then you get a dude like this that waits. You're going to wait. Well, sissy move. But that's our that's our America. That's that's our that's our reality today is our America is full of a bunch of sissified dudes that think that they can just run with stuff and be heroes based off of being a sissy. Here's how we you'll never be a hero to me. Here's how we handle it, because you got uh, you got the law offices of Knox and Quinn uh, at your services here. So this is what we're going to do. LeVar RG three's book comes out August twenty twenty two. LeVar's book comes out July 2022. Let's go. Let's beat him to the punch. Uh, Brady and I will get on a social media storm. I'm uh, not in, I'm not, I'm I'm not not in competition you. with sissies. Hey, I'm telling you. Well, I mean, you work with one uh, every morning. I don't know if you know that or <laughs> I'm not. I'm not in competition uh, with you. I work with you. <laughs>